This girl snuck out of her room at midnight and never came back. Her mother thought that she was safe and asleep in her room. However, when her mother checked her room, she noticed that her daughter was missing. So she tracked her daughter's phone, saw that she was near a skate park, and after that, she received the most devastating news. We know that we have this little 12-year-old girl who went missing. Her boyfriend was on the phone with her, and that's the last anyone heard from her. Turns out, her daughter was lured by two men who strangled her to death, and they left her dead body in a creek in an attempt to hide it. We were able to find video and get trace the movements of our suspects and our, our uh, of Jocelyn and all the way to the point of where she was murdered and left in a bayou in the water. The authorities continued their investigation and found CCTV footage of what happened to her before she disappeared. And what the cops saw on the CCTV footage will send chills down your spine. Jocelyn Josie Noon Gary was a 12-year-old student from Houston, Texas. She was a friendly girl who wasn't afraid to express herself and always stood for what she thought is right. She was raised by a single mom together with her five-year-old little brother. She was goofy. She always had her own little spunk. She never followed the crowd. She always stood up for what was right. Just, it's just hard. It's so hard. How have the past few days been for you as a mother? It's like not real. Like I, I, I keep hearing everything and, and I, keep, um, I keep hearing everybody tell me everything. And it, 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 I hear it and I, I hear it and it's just, it's not registering. Mm. It doesn't register at all. It's just like I feel like I'm in an alternate universe where I'm just living this ongoing nightmare that just doesn't stop. One morning, Josie's mother noticed that she wasn't in her room, so her mom tracked her phone and looked for her. Little did her mother know that she was about to face one of a parent's greatest fears, losing her child. I went to go look for her to get his phone. I looked on the couch, looked in her bed, her closet, her bathroom, didn't see her. I walked around the complex, didn't see her. Just walked around, quickly got in my car and just, I pinged her phone, and it pinged right over there, and I ran, and that's what I saw, tape and officers, and I ran up to him, told him my daughter was missing, and he wouldn't tell me anything, it wasn't until an hour later I got called to the, to go downtown to talk about her whereabouts, and that's when I was given the information. Turns out, Josie snuck out that night and met two illegal immigrants, Franklin Ramos and Yoan Rangel. Josie was seen on the phone with his boyfriend when Franklin and Yoan approached her. They were seen going inside a convenience store leaving together, and then the three of them disappeared. In the morning, a woman commuting to work found Josie's body in a nearby creek and reported it to the police. After that, Josie's mom was alerted by the cops regarding what happened to Josie. Test results now show that the 12-year-old girl you see right here who was murdered after sneaking out of her bedroom was sexually assaulted. The authorities immediately found the two suspects when Franklin and Johan's roommate secretly reported them after seeing them on the news. Because of this, 